giving myself exactly one hour to see how many brookies I can get. Slippery slope here. Not a proverbial slippery slope. It's an actual slippery slope. This is a steep ravine down into the stream. Oh boy. Well, once you look at that, just a beautiful scene out here. Welcome back guys, and welcome to another episode of Connecticut Angler. We're keeping the intro short this time. The goal today is simple. I'm giving myself exactly one hour to see how many brookies I can get on this beautiful small stream in the hills of Western Connecticut. And uh, I guess I'm gonna start the timer now. I'm already rigged up. I got the three weight. I have a dry dropper uh, rigged up right now with an elk hair caddis and a zebra midge down below. And uh, I guess we're just gonna kind of get started and see what happens. One hour and the timer begins now. Let's get to it, guys. Now the stream is running fairly low. But we have a pretty nice pool right up here. This is the first spot I'm gonna be hitting. Let's see what we can find. Oh, yep, that was a fish. Yep. Rookie number one. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful fish. Yes. Look at that outrageously beautiful male, guys. Oh my gosh, what an exceptional wild native brookie. Wow, huge mouth in this fish. Insanely vibrant colors. All right, guys, straight away, we've already got our first brookie to the net. An absolutely beautiful uh, male brookie. And uh, let's see, how are we doing with our timer? Not bad, uh, we're at 55 minutes remaining. So five minutes in, and we've already got ourselves our first fish. Not bad at all. Let's see if that trend continues. First, we're gonna see if there's anything else in this pool up here, and then we're gonna keep on moving upstream. Now, I don't know if I mentioned, but that fish took the uh, took the dry fly. Ignored the zebra midge. Got one. Got another. This fish took the nymph. Another little brookie. This one's certainly smaller than the last. Another beautiful fish though. Oh yeah, beautiful. Just beautiful. Certainly a smaller fish. Not quite as vibrant, but I mean, I'm kind of nitpicking at this point, right? Let's let this guy go. All right, number two. Not bad, not bad. We're still within our first 10 minutes. Let's see if there's anything else in this pool. Can we get a third fish out of here? Maybe. Now that last fish actually waited quite a while before it took the nymph. So I'm not going to be too preemptive in placing a new shot until I'm 100% sure that this fish have had an opportunity. Right, I'm just going to shut up and see if I can skip this fish. Got him! Oh my god, this is like a freaking two inch brookie. It's like, it's literally like a, oh my god. you got to be kidding me. How does fish even get hooked on the dry fly? How crazy is that, guys? I mean, this fish... It, it barely pushes two, two and a half inches. 
still extremely beautiful. But wow, I mean, my El Carcatus, that number 16 El Carcatus is as big as his head, his entire head. Okay, well, this pool definitely was a great way to start this one hour session. No question about it. Uh, we're gonna move on now, but let's see how much time we got in our timer here. Uh, <laughs> 47 minutes remaining, wow. I exhausted, what, 12, 13 minutes here. Let's go. First fish I ever caught in this stream came out of this little, this little pool up here. But that was during much higher water in the springtime. Let's see if this pool produces today. Nope. I'll tell you what guys, it's just beautiful out here. Overcast day, a little misty. And yet, like I had mentioned, did I mention that? It is unseasonably warm today. No hoodie or anything. Just a flannel shirt. It's got me plenty warm. I am gonna kind of be cherry picking here because I wanna hit as many good spots as I can within the one hour I've allotted myself. And, uh, you know, a lot of this water that I'm, that I'm going through now, fish is great in the springtime. You'll be catching tons of fish just out of shallow ripples and everything, but if the flow's low like this, the lines aren't nearly as good. Now I'm seeing little diminutive little baby trout, young of ear, flit around in these pools a little bit. But nothing of substance. I know there's a couple, a couple nice pools coming up over here. All right, nice pool up here. Definitely the possibility of a fish out of this pool. So, you know, the water is low and clear. So stealth is definitely part of the game here. Got him. Oh. We're gonna lift this fish right down into this pool. In fact, I won't even, uh, I don't even need to net this fish. I can just let him, let him go straight away. Beautiful little brookie. I'm gonna get him right back in the uh, main flow of the stream over here. All right, not bad. That fish hit the uh, dry fly. So that's what, trout number four? We'll check out our time after we finish this pool. Got another. Once again, put them right into this little pool next to me here, so I'm not spooking all the fish. Oh, this is a beautiful one. This color's super vibrant on this guy. This one took the zebra midge. Not bad, guys, not bad. You really can't go wrong with fish like that. All right, guys, two fish out of this little pool up here, bringing us to a total of what, I think five now? And let's see how, how deep in we are here. We have, I don't know if you can see that, but we got 40 minutes left. Not bad, not bad, we're doing pretty damn good. So uh, yeah, let's keep it going, see if there's anything else in this pool and they're gonna move along. We have two really nice pools up ahead here. Two more left. Now, there's still plenty of other good water to fish, but these are just like, this string of pools is really kind of the gem on this stream. I've caught my biggest trout on this stream from this pool right here, right underneath that cascade. Let's see if we get into a fish today. Ooh. 
swipe at the dry fly. The fish missed. Got him. This time he took the nib. All right, guys. Another beautiful little fish. We'll let him go downstream here. We're up to, what, seven now? All right, one more cast in here. Nada, moving on to the next pool. Gonna pop our first cast off here. Oh, see if we can get ourselves a fish. Oh, nice fish. Nice fish came up and sipped that dry fly ever so gently. Oh my gosh, beautiful freaking rookie. Just a fantastic male again. Another one of these fish with just a gigantic mouth. I mean, these fish are seriously predators. Huge mouth for the size of the fish, for the size of the head. And again, just beautiful coloration. All right, guys. What an absolute privilege to catch a fish like that out here. Just gorgeous, and we're up to eight fish now. Let's see where we're at. We're at, uh, we got 31 minutes remaining. Not bad, eight fish per half an hour. But again, these were like some of the best pools in the stream. Is the stream gonna continue to yield fish at this rate as we move up? Probably not, but we're gonna see what else we can pull off. Now, I got right up on top of this pool. It was worth potentially spoiling the pool in order to make sure I landed that fish. I doubt anything else will bite after I've approached so closely. Oh my gosh, I just, did you see that? My dry fly was drowned. I was just about to stand up saying, yeah, we're not gonna get anything else out of here. And the fish had taken the drowned dry fly. Incredible. Give me one more shot. Oh my gosh, there's another fish I just took. Uh, well, I'm leaving this pool having missed two fish that I probably could have landed if I hadn't foolishly decided that nothing else was going to bite. Uh, just goes to show, I'm not really wise to make assumptions about stuff like that. Okay, the waterfall is coming up. That's usually good for a couple fish. Though, again, in the springtime, these spots, for as much as I'm honestly just walking past them right now, these spots are, are great in the springtime. Flows are just a little low for these spots now, though. But the only issue I might have with the waterfall plunge pool here is if there's an accumulation of leaves in there. Wow. No leaves. Got to approach very carefully here. There could be multiple fish in this pool. I want to be able to maximize it. Keep it a little bit closer here. A little bit closer. Got him. I'm gonna go to the tail out of this little pool here. Hopefully I don't spook anything else that might be in the pool. This fish took the nymph. Got him. The little guy, only about three or four inches. We're gonna let him go straight away. There you go. All right, folks. I say, I'm sort of surprised this pool's yielded only one fish. All right, guys, well, nothing else at the waterfall here. Kind of surprised by that. I thought we were gonna nab at least a couple out of there. 
But hey, at least we got one. That puts us at nine fish to the net, and let's see where we're at. We got 19 minutes remaining. Not bad, not bad. Think we can hit 10? I think we should be able to do that. I've been moving a little bit faster when I've gotten fish number 10. Well, there you go, guys. That just about wraps up my hour on this stream. Nine fish to the net. Now, a nine fish per hour ratio is not bad, but I'm gonna tell you what, in the springtime, especially in the springtime, this stream can yield 20 fish an hour. That's not an exaggeration. So, uh, I was kind of hoping that we were gonna bring a couple more to the net. And hey, if we hadn't lost those two, we would have been up to, what, 11. So, certainly no shortage of fish on this stream. And I have had a blast out here. And, uh, I don't know, I'm gonna hit another pool or two, and then we're gonna hike back to the truck. But uh, that officially ends our one hour challenge here. <laughs> and let me be clear about this. This episode was not created with the intent of me trying to show off. I mean, look, when it comes to fish per hour, it's as much a matter of finding a great stream as it is angler skill. And the fact of the matter is, you don't have to be an incredibly skilled fly angler to be able to get out to a wild trout stream as beautiful as this one and get into some fish. I mean, get into some fish big time. So think of this more as a beautiful cooperation with a little bit of angling skill and a lot of really beautiful, healthy trout on an excellent stream. Anyhow, guys, I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> if you enjoyed this episode, do be sure to hit that thumbs up button. It really helps out the channel. Let's YouTube know that other people might like to see these videos. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, maybe consider doing so. Follow along, and I will catch you guys next time.